Hey guys, Vex here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a maze. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make a fairly decent sized maze. Um, the way that I'm going to show you works for small, medium, or even large um, mazes. And I have an area set up already. Um, we'll load it up here. And um, I didn't even have any idea what I was doing here when I first made a maze. But as you can see here, I've got an area cleared out. Um, I'll fill in a few of these gaps Oops. before we can start because we want it to be nice and smooth. Um, looks like I accidentally cleared a mob dungeon out here when I was deleting some of this ground. These items here, wheat, iron, sulfur, and redstone, those were the items that I found on the bottom here. I have no idea what it was because all I did was come down, go a length, go a length, and then I cleared the land. Um, but what we're going to do here is you can start out several different ways. Well, there's specifically two ways you can start out. You can start out with either a block here or you can start out with a block here. Um, I started out with one on the side, so we're going to follow that. Basically what you do is you make a like a checkerboard pattern kind of like a tic-tac-toe board too where you have one filled in one not filled in so that it looks like this basically across the entire map so it's gonna look like this across the entire map and then um, I'll show you guys what to do from there when I have this entire area covered so I'll be back in just a second okay guys um, this is what it should look like when you are done now comes the actual maze designing part um, it's up to you guys if you want to make it complicated simple um, the one I made I think was pretty pretty complicated so basically what you do now is you go through bl breaking blocks in any sort of fashion that you see fit. Just keep going through them however it is that you please. And while you're doing this, this is going to be the path that takes you to your final exit or your treasure, your gold, whatever it is. And this can be, like I said, simple or complex. I'm winding my way through a bunch of blocks here, hopefully to make it a little bit more confusing for whoever uses this. Um, this is just an example, but when you do this, you um, can create larger open areas for either hidden chests or for food or something if if your map is difficult or even like gold bars or eggs or feathers or something for people who are trying to collect um, objects for points, diamonds, etc. Anything else that you can think of. And while you're doing this, you can think of ways of helping people get to the finish, such as leaving like a trail or um, putting a certain type of block in the walls um, that will lead to the end, something that um, the other people can follow. And this will hopefully get us, get the person to the end without too much fuss. I made this a fairly large area just so that you guys can see what I mean when when I'm building here what I mean 
by okay this is gonna be our end okay oops so now we fly up and right here we have the outline of the actual way to get to the finish line the finish line being up here in this corner and the start being back here now what you do after this is you can go down you can go through your maze and say we started over here so what you can do is you have this little checkerboard area here what you can do is you can go through and create um, a false area or an area that somebody's trying to get through but will end up nowhere and you do this with the rest of the map you can like I said cut out large sections um, to hide things but basically it'll look like that throughout the rest of the map and um, I'll be back guys once I have the rest of the map finished like this so see you in a second Hey guys, um, another thing I thought of while making it more of a maze is when you're doing it, try not to connect your other parts to the main, I guess the main path. This will make it a little bit more difficult and challenging for those who actually try and get through it. Um, but it'll help accomplish the goal of making a very nice maze and, um, Hopefully other people enjoy enjoy getting through the maze, even though, yes, it can be a bit frustrating, because I know I've gone through a couple of mazes in custom maps that have really, well, irritated me, but um, like I said, it doesn't have to be a big map, it can be fairly small, but like I said, try not to connect your extra little paths to the main path. Um, I'm going to finish up and then I'll be back unless I think of something else in the meantime. Alright guys, I'm done with the maze and I'm going to show you. It's pretty epic. Um, this is what the maze should look like when you are done with it. Um, you basically just go through, like I said, make a whole bunch of paths, majority of which don't lead anywhere. Um, I made a single path that leads to the end, but if you don't want the maze to be as difficult, you can make um, multiple paths that lead to the end, or even multiple la paths that lead to different doors. And if you do this, you will have a very, very nice looking maze. Um, let's see here if we can get it all in. There you go. And we start over here, and I don't even, I can't even figure out the way to the end right now. Um, I'm sure if I went through, I could eventually figure it out, but um, it's just really complicated. And then after you do this, you can clean up your area, put smooth stone in the walls, in the floors, and then make your walls two or three uh, blocks high so that you can't jump or look over them. And then, like I said, you could make areas such as this for secret chests or you could even take out this whole area so that's just one big chunk and you could put maybe something in the middle if you wanted something to be in the middle of your maze um, but this was just a quick tutorial guys for you on how to make a maze um, hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe press the like button comment um, but thanks a lot guys, vexed out.